Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Yahweh, peace and salutations to the Akim out there pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Today we're gonna um, we're gonna start off in the um, in the Gospels, which is what you know, we've been focusing in on right. for weeks on, months on, and uh, we're gonna go into the story of Mary Magdalene. Not the usual one that we usually go into of uh, Matthew 26 and 6, but we'll take the, the version in Mark and start off there from the top. Okay. This is Mark chapter 14, start at verse 1. After two days of the feast of the Passover and of unleavened bread, and the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft to put him to death. But they said, not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar of the people. And being in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, as she sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment, a spike lag, very tough, very precious, and she broke the box and poured it on his head. Now we want to just go into this thing because you had a we had a brother, uh, uh, this brother Yashawamba from Dallas. He came out and he started to break down the woman with the alabaster box as being spiritual Israel. You see, this this is all, he's going into private interpretation of this because Yahweh Shah actually breaks it down for you. You know, you can't just go into these scriptures and and go into a spiritual aspect until you read the whole thing, man. That's and right. so we just want to correct the brother in this aspect of, of the Gospels because we know that it can be very difficult for brothers in GMS to touch on these Gospels. That's right. And verse 4, and there was some, and there were some that had indignation within themselves and said, Why was this waste of the ointment made? Mm -hmm. For it might have been sold for more than 300 pence and have been given to the poor. And they murmured against it. So, what Mary Magdalene did, she poured the ointment on, and you had Judas Iscariot who made that statement that, that the brother just made. The ointment was poured upon Yahweh Shai, and he'll say this after this, it was for his burial. And that's the understanding of it, man. Yeah, because, no deeper. Yeah, because a lot of times when you go into the parables, even when Yahweh Shai was going into the parables, he would break down the understanding afterwards. Exactly. And the, and the thing about it, when, you, when a lot of brothers and sisters, man, don't let someone come with a private interpretation. Yep. That's part of the stumbling block of some of Yahweh Shah's parables is that he actually broke it down afterwards. It's exactly. like the tares parable. Yeah, the wheat and the tares, yeah, which we'll get into, man. We'll get, right? we'll get into that too, because that's what we talked about months ago. Yeah. And that stuff, it's like he breaks it down to you right afterwards, but then you got well, men that come in with what? Their own private interpretation. Right. When Yahweh Shah gave you the interpretation of some of the parables. That's right. Some of the stuff he didn't give, some of the stuff he gave it. Yep, yep, that's right. That's right. You know? That's why you gotta pay attention to those red letters. Yep. Because this is red letters, if you read me, you'll see what he's going to say is in red letters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, we'll go further on. And Yahweh Shai said, let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work for me, on me. For ye have the poor with you always. And whensoever ye will, ye may do them good. But ye, but me ye have not always. She hath done what she could. She has come before her hand to anoint my body to the burying. To the burying. There's the breakdown right there, Yashuamba, man. So, right. you know, this is this is to edify you, man, and any other brothers who are trying to get into these Gospels, man. Yeah. This is a different arena as far as the, the stuff that you've learned. The stuff that you've learned from uh, Tahar and those other guys, man. Yeah, because the thing about it is, man, like, you guys got to examine what y'all been learning, man. Right, right. You know? right. Y'all been drinking that old that old wine and straightway don't desire it new? That's that's right. That's because right. that's what that's this looking like, man. Uh huh. You gotta understand how did the most high set up the time when Yahweh Shah came uh -huh. with those men. Who did he set up before Yahweh Shah and, and he set and the other men were set up? Pharisees, bro. He set up the Pharisees, he set up the elders, the Sanhedrin. Yeah. He set up the scribes, the Sadducees, he set up all those men and made them of reputation. Had him sit in Moses. Yeah, they were yeah. sitting in Moses' seat. So when you came out, like in this time, everybody knows about GMS. Everybody yeah. knows about IUIC, ISUPK. Man, these dudes are, yeah. are set up on, on high. GOCC. GOCC, they set yeah, up which on Which is probably, you know, by membership number, they might have the largest group. Right, right, so they right. Probably, you know, they're probably IUIC. But at the latter end, 
just like in those times, man, Yahweh Shah came after those guys were established. Mm -hmm. So these guys were rooted in the ground, and the people had fear for these guys because they, they had thought, for them. yeah, had yeah, had respect, but they thought they were men of the Lord. Yeah, because right. men were gonna come out of those groups. This is what happened back then. Right. Yeah, right. men that came out of the on the gospel, right? Wait, because guess what? If you go into the accounts of the, uh, before Yahweh Shah came. Them scribes and elders and Pharisees were waiting on Yahweh Shah. They were going into the books of the prophets. Yep, that's right. So right. they was doing all those things. They was going into the different breakdowns of this guy. But they knew that yep. uh, that the Romans were supposed to come down eventually. Right. And the kingdom was supposed to be yep. set. Right. They knew they knew the, those different things, but they didn't have the gospel. They didn't have the gospel, man. So the gospel had to be set up, man. It has to be set up. Likewise, in this day and time. Those guys set up, now you have brothers coming out bringing the gospel out. Yeah, and, and, and now it's confounding brothers, man. We're not we're not saying we're, we're special right, at right. all. We, so, we just, we just we're, we're sincere, we pray, we are talking about, hey, listen, man, we need to, you know, look into this, into everything. Yeah. And we yeah. want to make sure we get this the right way because we're not seeking our own glory, we're seeking the glory of him that that hopefully set us up for us to uh, get the yeah. total life. And how, yeah. many, and how many of them camps, man, give reverence to Mary Magdalene, what she did, though, after they, you know, why, after they get through preaching on the block? How many of them give reverence to her, like Yahweh Shai said? Yeah, and that was a commandment. Yeah, was a commandment. This, a, this is a memorial, just like the yeah, That's saying. right. That's a memorial. Yeah, we talk, we now, I remember we talked about it before we started camp. I was like, you know what? Yahweh Shai said that this is what you're going to do this. So we started, right. we started doing, we started incorporating different elements of the red letter and going yeah, through, up, you know? Uh-huh. And that's all we did. We just harkened and said, listen, this is what he said. We're going to do it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. I mean, that's all we did. It man. wasn't no debate. We just went to the spirit. Yeah, because guys yeah. kept going. Maybe this brother had to came and he told them, because, you know, he got no. the argument that about, well, you got men to follow men. Bro, we going into the book, bro. Yeah. They're the only the, the authority of all of us is this book. Is this, is it's this real right. simple. We yeah, don't even argue it. about stuff. We just go and say, let's bring out all the precepts and let's yeah. see what the book say. And yeah. whatever the book say, we just do it. We just do it. And that's the simplicity, bro. <laughs> that's the bliss. Brothers are all, look, I, I got this revelation. Let me put it in my pocket. Yeah. You know, I brought this out. Yeah. Yeah. You guys talking about hands and stuff. Yeah, I was trying to say it. Yeah, I was trying to say it, man. Where you get the name from? Who you learned the name from? Yeah, yeah. 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 it was a name around 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> right, right. I told them, brothers, if, if you even go to our page, if you go into uh, the breakdown of the name, that I put up on the name. I have a little playlist. Uh -huh. It got uh, Casa Juan. That's right. Yeah. Casa Juan down brings the name down better than pretty yeah. much anybody in Israel, man. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's a great breakdown right there, man. And y'all, a lot of you guys at GMS saw because y'all up on the common board on that lesson too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. They, so you guys talk about who you got the name from, who you get the gospel from. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. You, wanna, you know, you yeah. want to start bragging about stuff like that. If you want to <laughs> boast about things. Yeah. Yeah. Because. In Israel, yeah, if we was going to boast, man, we're trying to push this gospel to, to the extreme, man. Yeah. Fort, fortify this in the minds because we know that this is this thing right here is necessary for salvation. Yeah, it is. If you don't have this, man, you don't have salvation. That's right. Say you believe in Yahweh Shah and not doing the gospel, no salvation for you, man. All the principles yeah. of the gospel. The principles, the principles. yeah. That's right. That's right. I you guess we, anything else on that? And, uh, no, I'm going to keep going uh, further on on that one. Oh yeah, that, that that verse nine, yeah. Yeah, keep going down. Yeah, then uh, verse nine. It's Mark chapter fourteen, verse nine. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached th throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be spoken of a memorial of her. So there we go, Yasha one. But and you know what? We yeah. give you credit, Yasha yeah. one. But at least you tried. Mm -hmm. You tried to, bro. You tried yeah. because you understood yeah. the importance of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That shows you that you've been watching, man. Don't act like that. Right. Uh -huh. Hey. Hey y'all, Shawamba, man. Hey, look, and this this ain't no this ain't no this ain't for no contention's sake. Yeah, nah. this for edification. Cause see, man, the whole thing about these gospels is to edify the people. Yeah. And even if you have brothers out here who are up here saying all oh, these dope guys are going off, it's not for us to come back and and contend with you on this stuff. Yeah. We're just gonna come out and bring the edification. Ah, right, what did the brother Nazariah say? It's not who is right or who is wrong. It's what is right and, and what is, what is, and what is wrong. That's it. That's right. That's right. beautiful. And he said, bro, that's something beautiful. Yeah. Broken yeah. down like that. Yeah. And that's how we look at it. We don't care about whether yeah. or not a brother got this or that and the other. Exactly. We watch other brothers, and if they, if some of the stuff they going to is on point, we say, okay, we church is good. It's on point. And what is it? He's all well. He got it all. And, I, and oh, what is that? Bad, I, that's how body works, man. Yeah, yeah, right. This brother over here had something. Hey, man, look, he got that. Incorporate that into your feet. That's how you gain by trade. That's the parable of the talents, bro. Right. <laughs> but you guys, we're trying, to, we're trying to give you money 
So you can get on this investment and come up higher and be rejected. Yeah. Jay, now you're in a spiritual deficit. Woo! Man. Yep. You know? That's right. That's right. And a lot of you guys, as much as you preach, you're hit, you actually hitting your talent and after. That's Some right. of you guys know that what we're talking about is correct. Yeah. That's right. That's and, right. and you're not actually going forth and, and with it and gaining more. That's right. That's right, bro. You're just hiding it because you're scared of nothing. Mm -hmm. Man, you know, that's not good. They jumping yeah. in that ring with your Howard Shot and getting knocked out, man. Yeah, bro, it's scary, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, because see, you gotta put y'all exactly what the brother hey, was hey, saying. Y'all going into the to the ring with your Howard Shot and it's tearing y'all up and see y'all following these men and the men are telling y'all to stay on this doctrine, but then the gospels are coming out now, yeah. man. Now what's gonna happen with that, man? It's either one or two things. You gonna fall out with those men and come over to Yahweh Shai, or you gonna stay with those men and be serious in destruction, man. Yeah, man. So, and, and, but my brothers coming out and bringing this gospel, man, we don't want y'all brothers to perish, we want y'all to come out of that mess, That's man. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Cause like we were saying before, man, that um, we know that certain brothers is, is not understanding when we go into things like baptism. Right. But guess what, eventually, some of y'all gonna understand. Yeah. Like, we, we understand that. Yeah. Now, when, when we got it, we, it was same day, same minute. Yeah, we just went into it. On real discussion, right? You brought out the precepts, and that was it, bro. Yeah, we, we, I mean, bro, it didn't even take like five, ten minutes. Like it wasn't that. It wasn't no super hard thing. Man, we just sit down for hours on it. We brought out all the precepts, and we decided like, this is it. Yeah, but see, what we understand what's going on, man. You guys being seven, eight years in under those men, those lies have been fortified inside your hearts and minds, and it's hard for you to break away. We understand that. We man. understand that because for us. Yeah. You know, we were, you know, we were in the troop so-called before we joined yeah, GMS. GMS, right? But right. we wasn't in long as long as some of them guys and y'all. A lot of you guys have drunk in that old wine for a long time, and y'all don't straightway desire it. That's and right. That's what's happening. That's why it's going to be for some of you brothers. Y'all gonna have to fast and pray yep. to get y'all able to get the understanding of it because this is your own salvation on the line, man. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, right. Everybody has to understand what they got to do. And according to the gospel, in order to receive everlasting life, man. Right. And if you're not willing to do that, that's on you. Uh huh. It ain't on another brother because it ain't on a when, like like I said in the lesson, you know. Uh huh. When your hollow shot comes and he says, "Why didn't you do this?" You can't you can't be pointing to Tahar, to, to the bar, and Ramlad and the bar. Right. Say, well, look, those men told me that I didn't need to do that. Right. He gonna look at you and say, but what did I say? Work out your own self. Right, man. You know, he's gonna say, what did I say? And he gonna, he gonna toss you away, man. Mm -hmm. He gonna have them angels come through and just toss you, you know, wherever, you know. It's gonna go down like that too, man. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be in that situation, such as the time we're in right now. Yeah, right, right. This could be the last Passover. This could be the last time we get together. Uh-huh. And, and with your family and set up an actual Passover. Uh, yeah, so fair. Yeah, right. We don't know what's to befall. Yeah, yeah. Right. For those that don't believe that, that the Most High can't do a miraculous work, right, right. One brother said, "Oh, look, you know, y'all believe in the baptism. Ooh, 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 ooh. That means, well, guess what? To, to man, this is impossible. Yeah. But to Yahweh, all things are possible. That's right. That's it right. ain't nothing for the Most High to raise up thousands of men that's willing to basically walk, get, uh, get in the right way of, in, in the body uh -huh. and do what's required according to the red letters, man. That's yeah. the gospel." That's, the That's gospel, what it is. Man. And it matches up with the letters of Paul, right. Paul, James, all the other apostles. <laughs> I mean, some of you well, brothers probably didn't even know Philip was an apostle. We <laughs> were yeah, talking about that yeah. before. Yeah, and we made a we made a, uh, a conscious effort to make sure the apostle Philip. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> you know, so we just want brothers to be edified. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, but guess what? We still gonna come against the doctrine because you know, because it has. I mean, to it has to be done. So yeah, don't don't expect us to let up, man. You better be ready to defend what you believe in. That's right. That's right. That's what we doing, man. He said you should earnestly contend for the faith. For the faith. Right. Let's get that activity. And this ain't no scoffing. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't scoffing, man. Yeah. Hey, when well, a man way peace with the Lord, even his enemies, he'll be at peace with him. He'll be at peace with him. Yeah. That's what's happened because hey, some of them, some of them guys, like random comment board people, random. Right. That's right. coming on there. They put the same thing that we with. Right. Like they just right. coming up against y'all because y'all ain't y'all y'all are in the wrong way and the most times just setting them against you. That's right. That's right. That's right. You no. Know? So yeah, did that see first two. Okay. Uh see seventeen or something like that. Is it one in seventeen? Uh glory, uh, commit charge assignment. Yeah, commit unto yeah. Yeah, this, this is uh I'll start at uh well it's in the seventeen. Yeah, let me start uh better place. 
on suffering here and believe. Yeah, you can read yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll start it. I'll start it up. First Timothy 1 and 14. And the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which is in Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Howbeit for this cause I obtain mercy, that in, all, in me first, Yahweh Shah Mashiach might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Right. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise power, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them minus war, a good warfare. That's good. That's good. Stop that. Yeah. Yeah, that. yeah, so so man, th this is this is basically, man, when you go when you go into this, man, you see the, the impact of what Paul is saying the, uh, of, of following Yahweh Shai and the gospel of his of his uh, teachings, man. Right. Because in this, just like it says, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, thou Thou mightest war a good warfare, and this is what the Gospels do for brothers who adhere to the words of Yahweh Shai. Right. This is a good warfare coming against those doctrines that are contrary to what's being spoken, man. Right. right. So, and, and this has to be done. It has to be done, bro. Yeah, so you gotta just like you said in uh, in uh, Corinthians, um, the Corinthians, the guys tearing down strongholds. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Second Corinthians. Yeah, that was uh. Let's see. Yeah, because this is this this gospel is, is a um, is a heavy piece, bro. Let's see, this is a uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much what a lot of the stuff that we have to to do is you have to basically come like we have to basically make sure that we tear down a lot of these strongholds. Yeah, yeah. You know? I'm going to bring this out. This is 2 Corinthians, and I'm going to start from 4 at the top. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. And see, while you following, while you following the words of Yahweh Shah, man, this thing strengthens you, man. Because when, what, what you'll find is that brothers who are doing this on their own will, you see how tired they are in their faces, man. They look like they're about to just give up, bro. Yeah. They don't have the energy to, to move forward. Yeah. But once that spirit of truth comes in, man, man, you invigorated, man. You want to keep this thing moving, bro. Right. You are, hey, let's let's go out there and see if you know this word can bring in more brothers, man, so they can be sealed in this in this righteous knowledge, man. Yeah, if you're, if you're spending your time trying to basically keep guys from leaving. Right, right. You're not, you're not spending your time trying to keep brothers coming in to the faith. Right, right, right. It shows you that you have a deficit, man. Yeah. You're taking losses, man, and this is a spiritual warfare. This is spiritual warfare. Minute, you know, and if you're not willing to, you know, if you got your own agenda, it's going to show. Right. That's why Yahweh stopped praying and said, it's not my will, but thy will. But thy will. Exactly. It's all about agenda. What is your agenda? Is your agenda to basically push the gospel? Right, to, right. To bring forth the kingdom? Right. Is men and women being sealed and come into the fold, into the body so we can get out of here? Or is your agenda to please men uh -huh. and to keep the men that you got in the, in the fold for your own agenda? Right, right. And just like uh, how y'all have brought out a, a, a class on Ishtar is. And, no, and, and the brother, what was the brother's name? Awara Kwan. Awara Kwan from London. The brother made a statement out there talking about what's wrong with Easter eggs and Ishtar the, is nothing or whatever, something like yeah, that. Yeah, he said the, earth, the, 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 the world, the earth, and everything there is. Yeah. You that scripture which you're cutting yourself. You, you're cutting yourself. Because of the fact that that means that... That you can go and do Easter, Christmas. When you're saying Whatever something you like that, bro, yeah. you're, going, you're going contrary to the scriptures. Yeah, that's Because right. yeah. now what you're doing, you're embracing everything. Yeah. Because by making that statement, you well, say... Well, that's where the universalism comes from. It, and, because it, that's why the old school... At yep. One West is called the Israeli School of Universal Practical Knowledge. So you just you just put yourself and in the Catholic. Catholic. Catholic means universal. And that's universal. exactly what it means. Right. Okay, and yep. so you're actually okay with adding something that's uh, uh, in the in the Catholic doctrine, uh -huh. which is also X. Yeah. And man, so in the, in the old times, if you were back in those old times with Yahweh, man, that would be judgment upon you because you have bound yourself to another God by doing those Easter eggs mm -hmm. on a high holy day, bro, of on, the Passover, bro. That's right. bro. 
So brothers, yeah. is, the brother was and, acting as if I said yeah. Edge is wrong. No, what's wrong is what you're doing yep. and justifying yourself of doing it on a day that you know goes against Man, the man. Right. And guess what, bro? That's right. Your boy uh, Kazak did a lesson a couple years ago about things. Yeah. No, uh, no, not the yeah. Ishtar egg. About the egg. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm talking against the Ishtar egg. But you want to justify yourself, yeah? I know you're getting cut. Because mm -hmm. you was replying for like 24 hours, right? Well, hey, I'm let him go sit down. My phone like that. Yeah. I'm seeing the same, same God. Let him sit down at his pass over the night and eat his Easter eggs and watch how convicted yeah. he feels. It's conscious, bro. It's going yeah. to get to him. It's going it's gonna to get to him. Go need him. It's going to get to him. We're brother. just trying to tell you. We're just trying to show you an element of what your elders and their elders was pushing on you. That's right. That's right. We're That's not right. trying to basically make you look bad. We're trying to say, we're trying to say, beware or hold. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Yeah. And maybe that will make you say, you know what? You're right. There's certain things in our doctrine that's wrong, but you guys, but you are one of the main guys over there, bro. You yeah. the one who said you want the main one to put you 100% to. And I ain't brought out now scripture defending that you can eat that's eggs at the Passover. I told him, go, go into the scriptures and show us in the law where that's the right. eggs was. Yeah. And eggs is barely even mentioned in the, in, in the book. He told yeah. you what to eat on the Passover. And he told you what to eat, man. And by you saying that, man, you put yourself in a serious trick, man, <laughs> doing that, bro. Because man. I'm, I'm a, and, and what, 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 how Yala was saying on that piece, he says, he wasn't saying that it's wrong to eat. He says, but what no, you eat, to eat eggs, but what you do, what you do, your actions. That's what he was talking about yeah. on that particular day. This is First Samuel 2 and 3. Talk no more exceedingly proudly. And that's a prideful person when the brother is trying to bring some edification to you to come, at, uh, come against it and make statements like that, man. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. That's an arrogant piece, bro. Yeah. That's being arrogant when the brother is coming up and then you're making these statements oh, uh, 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 like you did on the comment board. Yeah. For the Lord is a power of knowledge and by him actions are weighed. So your actions, man, can put you in a heap of trouble, man. Yeah. So if you continue to do a Passover and you bring those eggs in when the Most High already prescribed what should be eaten on that Passover, man, and you bring it in that 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 doctrine that's contrary, hey man, hey, there's nothing more that we can say. All we can do is bring it out, bro. Yeah. yeah. And now you have no folks for your sin. Yeah. Because it wasn't brought out like as far as a formal lesson, but you know. And time came, now none of you guys can go to your Passover and sit there with them bald eggs, whoever, which brother you're going to tell to do it. Right. Because a lot of you guys that are in the bigger camps that have these, what's called y'all do that, man. The brother out there in Toronto, the fact that he came on the comic board said he saw that too. That's right, right. right. That's right. So, you got the guy, Amarada, Jadina, that's right. coming on the comic board talking about, oh, I don't eat no edge. Yeah, talking talking and all that stuff, but man. It's like, come down to Houston and do a Passover and see what happens. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You're going to see those eggs on your plate. They're going to have about five, six dozen waiting on you. Yeah, so all I'm, I'm up a, and ready to go. I'm going to start back over at the top on this. It's 2 Corinthians 2 and 4. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the Most High deceitfully. And see, and that's what's happening, man, when you make a statement like that, you're handling the word of the Most High deceitfully, man. Yeah. But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man. Yep. And so what, what are we doing, man? We trying to bring our brothers and our sisters who are lost out of that uh, uh, lost state of mind into the, the truth of this gospel, man. Yeah, that's the reason why we, uh, we, why we have to tear down strongholds. Yeah. Because this thing was built up even before we started actively uh, pushing, trying to push the word out. That's right. And, and it became such a big life, it became so big, that now it has to be attacked. It's a siege against false doctrines. Yeah. Just like, just like, uh, just like, uh, um, the, the book of Jeremiah stated, man. First be the man that holding back his sword from blood, man. Yeah, right. So you definitely have to attack these, these, these doctrines. Uh, uh, at the core, and you got to That's right. eliminate these these doctrines, man. Yeah, yeah. The brother out there in uh, New York said that, that we're pushing we're false prophets. Well, guess what? We told the brother, we'll sit down. Yeah, we'll yeah. sit down. That's what was the brother's name? I don't know the brother's name, but he's. He's still uh, waiting, though. The spirit. I forgot Stay in the spirit. Day. Stay in the spirit, man. Still waiting. Not long ago that was? Yeah, I think a couple of days now. Three, about three days now. About three days, We'll man. give him a week. Yeah. Give you a week. If he's smart, if he's yeah. wise, he's going to read, 
Yeah. And you go to come back and you say, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. What well, at the time is wrong. See, when you start going into this gospel, uh -huh. you realize, the man, that you, you so-called say you learned from your, your teachers. Right. That they don't know nothing. They don't know as much you thought that they know. Yeah. Just, just, a, just the last part of this, sir. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid from them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of the power, should shine upon them. Yeah. The gospel is not just talking about you know, knowing that we're Israel. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't the gospel, brother, because that means they would have had the gospel for Yahweh right, right. 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 So you got to go deeper than that. What is the gospel? Read the red letters. Yeah, right. Precept bro. upon precept. Go back into the Old Testament. Go back into the Apocrypha. Go into the letters, into the epistles. You yeah. don't see it matching up and you're going to be able to see what exactly the gospel really was. Yeah. You know? Oh, go ahead. So, yeah, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And uh, first we'll start at the top. Now, I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Mashiach. That's what we're doing. Yep. We're trying to do this in mental and meekness. That's why we're not wishing death upon you guys. Right. And we don't fear none of your curses, man, because we know they ain't going nowhere. They ain't going. They, what, what's happening is those curses are going out, but then they falling back on you guys, man. Yeah, we're going to prove it, too. That's yeah. right. Y'all going to be shot. We're going to prove that some of the curses are falling back upon us. Yeah, that's, that's right. 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 And then, you know, yeah. including with your main man. We're going we to show you. I got a preach that with that. Go ahead, huh? This is Romans chapter 1, verse 18. For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Come on, yeah, it bro. Is, bro. They say they got the truth, but you got the truth in unrighteousness, man. And the yeah, wrath right. is coming upon those men. That's yeah. what's happening, man. We're trying to escape that wrath, man. Yeah. Because we know that when he, when, when he opens up, man, he, he has no mercy. Yeah. There ain't no mercy. We ain't seen all the shotgun. Like they, like they mm -hmm. saw back during the flood, man. Bruh. See babies and people. Dying, right. and flooding, animals, Bro. infants. They, he didn't give a damn. He was just like, I'm laying down the full judgment on, on everybody that's not in that shit. That's right, man. Ooh. You know, if you're not in that shit on that day, that's it for you, man. That's it. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to beckon those men hey, to come into the right side of the ship. Okay? We're going the right side, man. Yep. Yep. That's the net on the other side. Boy, that door is closed. Yep. I'm going to continue going down in that Corinthians. So now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the gentleness, by the meekness and gentleness of Mashiach, who in presence and face among you, but being absent and bold towards you. Because we're swift, we're appearing as base. We talked yeah, about that yeah. before, too. <laughs> right, 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 right. Three dudes, man, that defected from GMS, man. Yeah. They babies, man. They don't know nothing, man. You guys have had more experiences than, than most of you guys put together, man. I mean... It's not, and it ain't nothing to boast it, man. Yeah. It's just that GMS wasn't the genesis of everybody's learning. Yeah, right. Man, brothers had, and man, brothers have been through certain things in their lives that they just wasn't, we just didn't uh, tell you guys, man. Yeah. So all you saw was that, that aspect of that life that that brother wanted you to see. You didn't yeah. know anything else, man. Yeah, you didn't know how the a brother was already in the truth who had right. different men that they were learning from, so to speak, as y'all like to say. Right, right. You know, you guys don't even understand like how different guys even got an understanding of certain things before yeah. they came into uh, y'all's uh, arena or camp, as they say. Exactly, but exactly. But like you said, we reappear in space uh, yeah. among you, man. Yeah. You know, even to those that, you know, because of the fact that a lot of things just seem simple, but yeah. you guys have sk skipped over those elements and don't even have the gospel, man. And we say it, we know we got a lot of gospel. Well, we know Great Millstone doesn't have the gospel. If a man has the gospel, he wouldn't be in Great Millstone. He would. We know that for certain. He wouldn't be stuck in IUIC. He wouldn't be stuck in these different whatever. Exactly. He'd be coming out from him and getting into these red letters and reading for himself and seeing what the gospel really is. The light would have been shown upon him. Yeah. yeah, and see the things, and we know that because you guys don't suffer the patience, the kindness, the gentleness, and the meekness, which is the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. So I, we've never since we've been at GMS for that year, man, we never heard that come out on the block. We yeah. never seen the sit down done upon that. Yeah. We never seen anybody on the block going into the fruits of the spirit. Yeah, it, it does. It doesn't happen over there, man, because the fruits of the spirit are not operated in that organization, man. Yeah. And, and, and to tell us if we're wrong, if we're wrong. Maybe y'all did it in the past. If y'all have, pull the video up, man. Yeah, we upload yeah. them. Yeah. So I know some brothers actually had tried to, uh, and actually went into it. And uh, I was like, man, I don't know how that brother actually came up with that lesson. He needed to leave. Right, right, right. 
Yeah, because if you're going into the fruits of the spirit, man, you should not be in GMS, man. Yeah. Because, man, you're talking about all these aspects of, of what they do. It's going to the contrary yeah, to it, man. You know. Yeah. That, that's why they stumble trying to come up against this gospel, man. Yeah, yeah bro. This ain't their arena right it's a, now. It's a spiritual yeah. force field, man. And I know right. your brothers over there at GMS Dallas, man. I know y'all felt it. Right, right. You know? We know y'all felt the spiritual force field. Right. All that baptism right. is, man. Right. That stuff is dope. That, the, this gospel is nothing to pay with, man. They pop. These are the words that came out of your house now's mouth, bro. Man, you, you talking about fortified power, bro. This, this thing right here is impenetrable. Going to these baptisms, man, and, and these different aspects of the scripture, you start to see how strong this thing is. Because when we brought this baptism out, there was not one video done against that. You know what I mean? I mean, nobody can really come. I mean, you can say, "Oh, yeah, you don't do. Uh, we don't supposed to do baptisms," but you got to come with some kind of uh, uh, lesson against it, man, showing yeah. us what we're wrong. And going to the red letters, man. And none of the guys do a uh, baptism breakdown and going to the red letters. Right. And going, they're trying to show us or going yes, and then show us where your yeah. boss will stop doing it. Yeah, show us. They continue on, man. They continue on. They did it with your house shine, and they did it after, after. you went up to, to, to the fall. Exactly, exactly. And then for the brother to stay in the spirit, man, you know, just like you made the comment on the board talking about, you know, um, you know, you don't have faith. Is it that you don't have faith if you don't get baptized? And you saw the response on that comment, man. I said, man, these, it's levels to this to this gospel, man. Yeah. It ain't like you just get the gospel and you're at this level, man. You got to keep on increasing. Yeah, that's right. Just trying to help y'all see the first step. Yeah. There's other elements of things that's that we right. still have to discuss yeah. that we haven't even talked about yet. Right, yeah. right. So because we're trying to at least push out that vibration of that aspect of the gospel, which is part of your first step of repentance. Man. That's right. And they, 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 they going to the swimming pool, going straight to the... To the uh, to the high diving board and jumping off up in 10 feet. <laughs> but don't even know how to dog paddle yet. <laughs> hey man, you got you got to hey man, you got to you got to really read into this because we understand man that brothers and, and, and like we, I keep reiterating man, this ain't for contention or anything like that. Yeah. This is only for edification. Because we understand man, we understand your position and where you at. Is that those guys have solidified a teaching in your mind that it's hard for you to break away from. Especially yeah. if you've been in this thing for years, bro. It's not easy to break away from that. That's a stronghold. Yeah. That's a stronghold. And that's what we're trying to do is help you brothers come out of those strongholds. Yeah, go ahead and read that. Yeah, go ahead. I, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll finish it up. Uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And it's going down to verse 2. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. Mm -hmm. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. That's the reason why we don't gotta say, oh, if I'm gonna, like, it's like this, your guy Ricard. Your Ricard, just the other day, was talking about if he sees some two brothers that left the main camp, then he gonna put hands on them. Yeah, well, yeah. what is that, man? Come on, dude. Is that the fruits of the spirit, though? No. Didn't he say that, the, that, a, man, that a, a man of the Lord should not be a striker or a brawler? Yep, yep, so now. But wait, wait, but his, his elder, Tahar is supposed to be Paul, who wrote that as well, dude. Man, so Ricard, man, you putting yourself outside of the fruits of the spirit, man. That's just why a lot of times, sometimes I don't even name you Ricard because of the fact that 